Why, hello YouTube! Greetings from Elysia Eyebrow Reviewer. So, I don't usually play Minecraft. Um, I find the game kind of like, well, you know, I could build Lego to be honest. But my sister-in-law has been playing it on the Xbox I gave her, and I've kind of been having fun with it again. So, I wanted to do something. I built a castle, I had a lava moat, and I wanted to figure out how to make a switch on the outside to open the drawbridge, but a switch on the inside as well, in case I die or whatever and get left out, and I don't want to have to rebuild and get it back in there. So the plan was, switch on the outside, switch on the inside, both would make the drawbridge work. This is called a single pole double throw switch, where you have one power source, but you can use two switches to activate the outcome, the lamp, if you will. So I looked it up online, I couldn't find anything in the forums, and the two videos I found on it were very, very confusing. Uh, they didn't make much sense and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how I did it, because I finally figured it out. So the first thing we'll need is a power source. So let's make two wires from that. And we'll need repeaters because it doesn't work without them. The next thing you'll need is your switches. So for this case we're using pistons and I use a block of iron on top of the sticky piston because it can carry the charge of these repeaters if you throw a repeater on the other side. As you can see here, the thing is powered. However, because you cannot do it here, otherwise the things would just link up, I had to do it outwards. So knowing this thing will show up here, I'm going to put a repeater here. That being the case, this thing will move over and power that up. So we have to make a second switch because otherwise what's the point? Throw another repeater here, another sticky piston, another block of iron on top of that, another repeater, another wire, and for sake of sake, argument I guess, we'll throw a piston. The piston being what our outcome we want to be. In the electrical world this would probably be a lamp, or a light source, or something. So as you can see the charge is here, going all the way through it, and that's fine. Um, let's get rid of this for a second, we'll use a, how about a lever? So, you know, lever's on, that's our power source, whatever. This is what we can only do in the game. However, using the sticky pistons and blocks of iron, we can do something else. So, using this out here, and one over here, and making a current connect to it. Leave that on. Um, if you activate the sticky piston, so let's just make the wires over here first. Oop, nope, not there. Now we have two levers. These are our switches. These would be like light switches, so let's turn that back to power source. So that this is activated, they're both activated, but this isn't carrying over here. However, if you flip a switch, oh wait, wrong way. Let's do this, that's better. You can throw the switch, it breaks the circuit going this way and connects over here, but there's nothing over here, therefore your thing goes off. So even though this switch is on, that's off. But, if you turn both of these on, it'll connect the circuit this way. Also not turning it on because I forgot to put the other thing. You need to put a repeater right here. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot that. Anyways, <laughs> do that. Uh, another one there. And then we'll do a piston. So yeah, both of these are on. It's completing the circuit. But if you have one on, one off, it turns it off. If you have both of them off, it turns it back on. This can be used to really just if you have two switches and you want to turn things on so outcome being that we have a thing of lava over here this could be like a river or your moat i just decided to make it eight blocks wide for no real reason um but you can turn a switch on and out comes a drawbridge so you walk across and you can turn it off there as long as they're both on, or one on, one off, then the drawbridge is down. Or if you have both off or both on, the drawbridge will rise. And that's how this thing works. So now that I've done this, I can actually go do it in the Xbox version, as I'm sure the same thing applies. If it doesn't, I'll have to figure something else out, because I'm pretty sure iron conducts in the Xbox version. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. 
Anyway, this has been long-winded. This has been how to make a single pole double throw switch in Minecraft, as it took a lot more effort than I thought it would take. Because they don't have switches for some reason. They just have on or off. Ugh. Anyway, that was all. Bye!